Ballard is in the lead by 56 pins. We'll continue with the Jacksonville Open in just a moment. Hosted by Don Laughlin's Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. The event will begin with Pro-Ams Friday, November 30th and December 1st. Then move to the U.S. Open competition on December 2nd, culminating with a live ESPN broadcast on Sunday, December 9th at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. That's immediately following the Men's U.S. Open Finals. Women will be shooting for an unprecedented minimum purse of $300,000, with the winner taking home fifty-five dollars For tournament entry info, contact the PWBA at 815-332-5756 or visit www.pwba.com. And for Pro-Am info, contact the Riverside at 800-227-3849 or you can visit them at www.riversideresort.com. Please come out and bowl the Pro-Am. Watch us bowl that event. It's going to be a fantastic event. The women put in a lot of effort to get that event to be there for that kind of money. So we hope to share it with a lot of people. Carolyn Doran Ballard up in the seventh frame. She chopped a spare in the sixth, the 2-5. But Carol Giannotti Block has not been able to strike. So Carolyn Doran Ballard leads by... 44. It'll go down a little with that shot because she didn't strike. We now gear our plus or minus based on striking out, assuming the player will continue to strike. Carolyn's strength this week was hanging in there, trusting herself, and that's exactly what she's doing. 279 for a high game, 163 for a low. Not too bad for a low game. Uh oh. Carolyn. She started to talk to herself there a little I think bit. I heard <laughs> that despairing 101. <laughs> she fell off it just a little bit there at the point of release and just about held on, and she knew it. She didn't know which way to steer it. <laughs> There's a look at the scoreboard. You can see she chopped that spare in the sixth, and I don't know if it should be a spare or a kind of a half a spare in the seventh, but. You heard her say she should, go, she should go back to sparing 101. Enroll now, before <laughs> next week. Now up in the eighth frame, she leads by 34 Playoff. pins. Now that's, that's the lane she came up on, uh, light on the last frame. She threw it good, nice and aggressive, but just jumped right there at the end. Exactly, that's where she left the 2-5, so probably made an adjustment. Probably made a slight adjustment. Unfortunately, paid a big price for it. Got the wood, got, get the one, very important. So this match tightening up now. Carol Giannotti block just trails by 11. That's assuming she continues to strike or starts to strike and then continues. She only has two strikes so far this match. Carol having a little trouble. She said when she gets impatient, though, her feet get quick. She runs into a little trouble there. Third appearance of 2001. I think both of these ladies have that same problem, getting a little quick with their feet if, if they get a little too much adrenaline, moving a little too much. She might also be having trouble with that knee that we talked about. And she confirmed suspicions we had about knee surgery and the knee surgery. Yeah, correct. On December 14th, the day after I get home, I'm going to have knee surgery. My kneecap sits over the edge, so they're going to cut everything around it and put it back into place. It's going to be a three-month pro, you know, process off bowling, but we've got that five-month break, so I'll be around and ready to go next year. You can see she has it taped up there. Very, very swollen last night and today. And that has to be affecting her shot making. She can't stay down strong on that leg. It definitely is. She mentioned that when she gets impatient and her feet get quick, she probably feels the pressure a little bit more because she's forcing it a little bit. And it has, it has definitely altered her shot making. Now, Kara likes to play way inside. She likes to use the oil in the center of the lane, which is where the majority of the oil was. But as you can see here, she's having a little trouble maintaining consistency in the pocket. But great spare shooter. Carolyn Doran Ballard now back in the lead by 37 pins. As she steps up in the ninth, things have been a little shaky the last few frames after four strikes in a row. 
but she can still shoot 223, and the best Carol Giannotti block can do is 186. Come on. Right back on track with a big strike. Carolyn Doran Ballard hoping to get to the championship match so that she has an opportunity to win title number six. You can see there she has five already. Car Honey Church right behind with three. Liz Johnson with three. Leanne with two. Michelle Feldman and Tish are Iron Woman, both with one apiece. Leanne Barrett hoping to get to three titles on the year. As we mentioned earlier, that would be the first time for Leanne in a long time, since 1991. Career earnings for Carolyn Doran Ballard, 748000 She's eighth on the career earnings list right now. Yes. Very nice. That was a wonderful shot. She took her time. You could see it. You could see the difference, in my opinion, almost on her face, the concentration level. And she split the difference. She went high, leaving the 5-8, 2-5. She went light, leaving the 2-5. Yes, and, and then, then went high. So she split the difference and went flush. She's got another game, so she's got to figure it out. Jeez. Well, she just really needed to maybe hit some pins, so. Carolyn Doran Ballard takes the semi-final match, but when we return, we'll recap tonight's scoring, and still to come, that championship match.